Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to B&D Live, the Dungeons & Dragons live stream where a group of high school friends attempts to play Dungeons & Dragons remotely via the internet. With us, as always, we have Steven as Finric the Monk, Tim as Twizzard the Wizard, Aaron as Agnes the Bard, and Chris as Polias the Cleric will be joining us shortly. I am Sean, your ever-faithful and humble DM, and this is B&D Live. Physical stuff. Oh, we definitely order it through Amazon. <laughs> All just right, I gotta. Do... <laughs> Damn it! I gotta do a recap. Recap. Uh, it was the Gaul evening. Agnes and Asnando are still traveling in the astral plane. Finric, uh, meanwhile, had visit visited Ra's house of rags, and had picked out a new, mostly blue wardrobe that requires some tailoring, though. Uh, so he'll come back. Plyas and Twizzard spend the night in the hut. The next morning, the tall Plyas and Twizzard make a deal to go up a mountain to get some flowers uh, Duara, the old uh, medical herb woman, is looking for. She's looking for the star flower, and, uh, you know, they also figure out that she's looking for the teeth of the creature that guards it. Fenric, having stayed at the Button Oyster Inn, after turning briefly purple, checks on the heads uh, and his clothes and decides to accessorize the outfit with some belts from Dan, who he met drinking at the end and runs the tight waist belt shop. He gets a silver buckle to go with it. Meanwhile, Plyas and Twizzards set up Mr. Bones as a watch after hiking up the mountain, and they all go to bed. Overnight, Mr. Bones has gone missing. We follow a fresh tunnel and fight a land shark briefly before turning it into a guinea pig. Meanwhile, Agnes is not, and Asnanda finally and successfully find the king and queen of Odavakar and restore their consciousnesses. Back in the material plane, Agnes reaches out to Fenric, then Twizzard via Sending Stone, just as the polymorph wears off in a battle between the Boulette, the Boulette and Plyas and Twizzard uh, engages, and they emerge victorious. So, we're going to pick things up. Uh, let's say it's Dalk late afternoon. Uh, maybe we'll pause until Polias gets in. So we'll just put that over there. And uh, yeah, Agnes, who has been uh, feeling a little under the weather after coming back from the astral plane. Um, but you're with the king and queen of Odavakar. Your friends are seemingly in various places. What would you like to do? Um, well, I've already caught them up with uh, with what I was told happened mm. and, exactly. um, in Yarns, right? Yes, so they are. They're already familiar with that. They're familiar with that, and they're very eager to get home. Right, and I said maybe we could find someone who would allow them to message their daughter to let her know that she's safe or they're safe. Yeah. Because we don't even know if the daughter's okay, do we? Because Falrith was pretending to be her. All right. So true. I'm not going to say anything about whether or not we know she's safe. Yeah. <laughs> they're just, they're just like, yeah. They, I guess if, yeah. If you were to mention, if you were to mention the onslaught in general, they would probably ask about that. But I wouldn't know about it because I wasn't there. Ooh, good so, point. Good point. So all I could all say right. is that we knew that they were missing. Well, we are um, 
needless <laughs> to say, very excited about returning to Swabia. Uh, do you have a ship, perhaps, or um, maybe arcane methods? I know that most of our Swabian brethren um, frown upon the use of arcane measures, but we do have a few skilled artificers in Odavakar uh, who have been known to dabble in that means of transportation. Well, um, unfortunately, I don't know the teleportation circles that might be in that area, but we do have a ship and um, we, I believe, are going to be heading north again after, you know, gathering up the rest of our, our crew. I, um, and she's sort of like, she thinks about it for a second and then she takes a uh, locket off of her neck uh, and holds it out to you. I was told by uh, my chief artificer, Faramund, uh, that if I was ever to be in trouble or uh, separated, I should perhaps use this. Now, to be fair, he thought that he'd be with me or at least one of the other artificers would be with me. And she cracks it open and inscribed within is a teleportation circle. Well, well, well. I you just are able to, to have, use this? I happen to have the, uh, the gem-filled chalks needed to make this teleportation circle. And I could get... I'm guessing I can get both of them home with one teleportation circle? Or yes. would I need to press it twice? No, you, you, could get, you could get everyone who could go through it while it's, you know, for however long it lasts. Okay. So. Okay. You could, in theory, get all of you, if you wanted, to Swabia. But yeah, then you'd but... be leaving your ship behind, so, and Finric, so that doesn't <laughs> Once <get> again, <laughs> leaving the ship behind. <laughs> well, I'm going to just have to learn the teleport chasing <laughs> circle for, uh, for Lucknall, and I'll just have to skip my way there. <laughs> there you go. So, all right, I guess that I will, um spend the time to draw out the appropriate circle and hope that my drawing of something that I'm doing, I'm guessing if instead of from memory, if I'm doing it from actual looking at something, I'd be just yeah. as good. Totally, right. totally fine. All Ooh, right. Here comes a Chris Foley. Hey, oh, Blias. <coughs> Do you have any sheets? Um, all right, so while you're doing that, we'll flash over to uh, Plyce and Twizzard, oh. who have vanquished the Boulette land shark and the are bear. basically just searching for the flower. I don't think you found it, but you're, you're, you're in the right vicinity. All right. So are either of you, uh, or who would like to do a nature check, I guess? Uh, I don't think I've ever done one of those. Ooh, but I have plus four. I will look around in nature. Yeah, Twizzard, master of nature. Uh, 22. Yeah, Just no. Um, after uh, securing the uh, teeth from the vanquished body, uh, you guys head up a little longer. Uh, and your you're, 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 you're innate, natural uh, understanding of the world around you uh, you find a, it's sort of a, a little bit of a crevasse, uh, sort of as you're growing up the slope, you see a little, and so there's like shade and good right amount of light. And, uh, and sure enough, uh, you find the uh, flower that had been depicted uh, in the sort of hand-drawn medicine manual. Uh, the, ooh, you guys, yeah, you guys pick the basket full of them that do our uh, request. All right. Very good. Yeah. All right, and then you start heading back down. Uh, you'll probably... Yeah, you'll be able to get down by the by evening. The uh, the teeth we picked, are they big teeth? Like... You want a necklace? Because my thumb... Uh, they're like... Think of them like shark's teeth, right? So they're, they, you know... They're pretty okay. big. All right. Why do you ask? Uh... <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> All right. Curious. Um, I think that spell only works on humanoids. 
Maybe not, though. Well, no, it's all good, yeah. Anyway. Got a different, different thought in mind. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, yeah, so you guys are heading back down the mountain. Um, Finric, what are you doing? You're, like, ex enjoying an extended vacation in Cena. <laughs> I feel like that's what it's like, too. Do re remind me, I have to go back one more time to get the remaining heads? Or... I think one more time to get the remaining heads. Yeah. So, what time of day, ma'am? Is it... Uh, it is, it is, it is, uh, it is late afternoon on Dalk, mid, mid to late afternoon for you. Alright, so, um, is it, is it, I wonder if it's too late to go fishing. <laughs> Never too late to go fishing. This guy's living it up. Alright, so I guess, uh, I guess I'm gonna go down to, like, near the water and see if I see anyone else fishing. Like by the docks, or so you could go down the path that uh, Lily or Agnes has taken in the past to the beaches. Oh, yeah, probably some. Probably uh, are those like vastly different, or are they adjacent? Like I'm thinking, it wouldn't be the docks themselves, but maybe like off the docks. Mm, yeah, there's sort of like a promontory of land that goes out, and the docks and the harbor are here, and the beaches are a little like up and over down the other side of the promontory. So they're 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 sort of separated. All right. Well, maybe I'll, I'll, you know, is the promontory like traversable? Can I like? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's paths. There's paths from the main city. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's very. I mean, they're touristy beaches. You know, it's right near the main city. So. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Give me a. Uh, as you get closer to the to the water to the beach area, give me a perception check. Five. Yeah, you don't see too many other people fishing. Uh, you get down there, uh, you know, as, as it's getting later in the afternoon, um, you see some people, you know, sort of packing up their stuff. You see a couple couples sort of like hanging out, waiting for the beach to empty, maybe a little more. Um, there's a group of, uh, looks like younger, maybe teenage uh, kids of varying uh, types sort of setting up a bonfire on the far end. You don't see many people fishing per se, but you could, of course, try. All right, I guess I would need a fishing rod. <laughs> Do you have one in your uh, bag of holding? I'm, I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> Gotta have something in there that we could use, or you could use. You know what? The bag of holding is actually perfect to like carry a fishing rod around with me. Maybe I'll just sort of ask uh, if so. I, I there are a couple people fishing. No, you don't. See, you don't see anyone fishing. Actually, no, don't see anyone fishing. All right. Not not so, in this area. All right. Are the shops still open? Yeah, you could go back to the shops. I mean, some of them are. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look around. Like, are there any shops around the docks? Like, I'm I'm trying to think. Like, you know, if someone were to sell like fishing gear stuff it might be yeah so would, you, would it be closer to the docks or would it be you head back? back you're like yeah no i'm not gonna hang out with these teenagers so you, you head back over uh, as the sun is setting you get back down to the docks and uh you start like ask you know inquiring like fishing fishing around and you get directed to old lang's dockyard mm -hmm. and old Yit lang uh, you, you as, as you arrive at old lang's dockyard uh you see this uh, sort of Older gentleman, uh, sort of closing up shop, as it were. And he looks over and he's like, "Ah, what you got? You, you got the look of someone who needs something. What are you? Uh, what are you looking for?" I uh, I was looking for uh, for a good uh, a good fishing rod or two. He's sort of a stout, dwarven fellow, and he sort of shambles up to you and he's like, "Ah." Looking to catch a big one? Or many medium sized ones. Uh huh. You, uh, just looking for a rod uh, and some, some bait and tackle, or you're looking for something a little more, uh, high powered? Uh, I think just the former, but I, now that you mention it, I'm sort of curious to hear more about the latter. Well, uh,. I got something I've been working on. Come, come, follow me. He goes and he opens up his shop. And he leads you in. Um, 
And yeah, so this is this is like the main dockyard, right? So there's some there's some boats. It's a very wide open space. There's some boats that are being worked on. Uh, you see like a, a, a new, freshly varnished uh, little dinghy over to the one side. Uh, you also see um, some cannon and some sort of ballista and swivel gun set up. But he leads you past those into a back room uh, where the uh, there's a sharp, uh, almost smoky flavor to the air. Um, and he opens up this uh, crate that's full of straw. And uh, inside are some what look like iron balls um, with some fuses sticking out of them. And he's like, this is a way to get fishing done quick. I call these uh, Lang's Boomers. Lang's Boomers? Oh, yeah. Now... Are you Lang? Oh, I'm, uh, yeah, no, I, I'm Lang. Yeah, I, uh, this is my, this is my place, but, uh, I've been experimenting, you know, we get various clientele, uh, some whose, uh, line of work can be a little violent sometimes. Maybe they have need of protection on the high seas, as it were. Uh, but these are... You know, something I've been working on just, just for myself and with some close friends. But really, I need I need people to maybe test them out a little. Make sure they're, you know, safe. Hmm. Are, are the fuses, like, how, how long are the fuses? Oh, it varies. Oh. Cool. Usually long enough. <laughs> All right. Uh... You interested? Yeah. Since yeah. I'm not quite finished with them, I could let you have them maybe for, hmm, I don't know, two gold a piece. Two gold a piece? Okay. Well, um, let's see. Well, I, uh, so it would be, uh, it'd be five for a platinum? It sure would. That's, I uh, still got my math skills. All right. Well, maybe, uh, maybe I'll take five with, uh, you know, uh, none, none of the ones with like the shortest fuse. Like, give me like sort of like a medium fuse would be great. All right. And he gets a uh, sort of a burlap sack and he puts them in sort of gingerly. <laughs> he scoops it up and uh, hands it to you. And you'd probably estimate this weighs about five pounds. So they're about a pound each. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> happy, uh, happy fishing. Did you did you want a rod too? Because I do have those. Let's take a look. Let's yeah, take a look. sure. Come on. He brings you over, and he's got varying states of of some some fancier than others rods on the wall. Yeah, they range in value from I don't know a couple silver to maybe maybe uh, thirteen silver or so for that one on the end. I think it'll just be for occasional use for me. So probably something something more basic, but you know it'd be the rod and line and. Hmm. Um, yeah, I get you. Get y'all. He sort of picks one out. It looks like a reasonable rod, and uh, he's like, "Yeah, this." And uh, he gets some other accoutrements and stuffs them in your burlap sack. And uh, he's like, "Yeah, I'll be uh, another eight silver or so." So you get the rod, you get the line, every, everything you need to fish some, some bait. All right, here you go. And uh, I'll, another recommendation there, um, if you go uh, sort of on the end of the promontory of, uh, of the land there, there's a little bit of a path down to a cliff overlooking. And you got enough line there, you should be able to reach the water from that. That's where, uh, that's where us old timers like to fish, you know, the old fashioned way. Ah, that's understood. That's great to know. Oh. Well, it was good to meet you. I uh, once I have a chance to test out um, Lang's the boomers. New, the new fangled way. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Do that. All right. Oh, where was he? He was there. Whatever. All right. Uh, over to Agnes. So Agnes, are you? So you're casting. 
teleportation circle and to send so, them back basically to send them to wherever that particular okay. one is which i can learn that after studying it for a minute oh you can learn where it goes well i can learn that sigil yes perfect yes. okay all right so, so you you have learned that sigil then okay do i have a name for that sigil like i could probably ask the queen like yeah she says uh that is a uh leads you to the the palace uh in uh herulian which is the capital of odavakar and you are always welcome uh, as our guests there and in fact if you let us know you're coming i'm sure we could arrange a parade of some sorts perhaps if you're into that sort of thing well i mean i think that my friend mr twizzard would probably be very interested in a parade however uh, we do have some other locations that we need to go to first before we'd be able to visit um, out of our car. Of course, of course. Well, again, once again, we can't thank my husband and I can't thank you enough. He sort of <coughs> nods. It was my pleasure, and so I cast the spell. All right. And... You sort of see this uh, uh, portal open up. And they're like, they're a little taken aback. Um, we just to stand in that? Yep, just walk right on in, and then you will be transported to the other side. Um, I saw. Yeah, all it's right. like a doorway. All right. Yeah. No, I, 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 I. She sort of composes herself, remembers who she is. She's like, you know, I saw our, our lead officer make those same sort of marks. Every day for a year, but uh, it's still, still quite a thing. All right, I guess, I guess, we'd better go. And she sort of jumps in, and the husband waves and jumps in too. And they're gone. <laughs> and then, all right. As Nando, meanwhile, is like, oh, very cool, Agnes. Very cool. Well, going into the astral plane is also really cool as Nando. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm just glad it all worked out for you guys. I'm glad you were there to help us. Maybe I'll spend the evening as a parrot. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's, it's not a full evening. It's five minutes. And you oh. want to probably land when you start feeling a tingling sensation. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> When you feel the tingle, let it go. Something like that? No? All right. All right, well, you're, uh, you're welcome to, you know, our village is your village for the rest of the night. Sure, that sounds great. I have to find my friends, uh, and then we'll probably be making our way to the next location. Understood. <laughs> he sort of takes his leave of you. Uh, all right. Uh, there's probably still, basically, y you can inquire around the town, or, or actually, I guess you could just talk directly to Twizzard with the Sending Stone. Uh, but you know that they're heading back at this point. Okay. Then I'll, um, I'll contact Finric too, and let Finric right. know that um, we're, rega we're regrouping, and we'll head back over to pick him up. Sounds good. Where should I meet you guys? Well, if you want, you can use your, your life vest and you can start swimming towards us and we'll start moving towards you and we'll meet somewhere in the middle. What's the second choice? We'll just, <laughs> you just wait for us. And when we get there, we'll, we'll sending Sonia. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Second choice. A second choice. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. That evening, uh, Agnes, you, you've enjoyed a, uh, a meal of fresh fruit and some, uh, some sort of pheasant creature that they'd, uh, they'd caught a couple and cooked and roasted. Uh, and then uh, hot and sweaty from their day in the hiking in the mountain, uh, Twizzard and Flies come down with a basket of white star-shaped flowers. <clears throat> right, lovely. Before uh, before we get to Agnes, I turn around and I <laughs> put some of those monster teeth in my mouth. Yeah. Like they're my own teeth. And I go over to Agnes. Ah! <laughs> Good 
goodness gracious, Twizzard, what's wrong with your teeth? Look what happened! Is that a spell? You got new teeth. One's <laughs> about to fall out. Give me something to bite. I'm gonna bite it. <laughs> she plucks one out that looks bite. like it's kind of hanging there. Ah! <laughs> uh, just kidding. These aren't my real teeth. But they were something's real teeth. This horrible land shark. It's horrible. Where'd you get Yeah, it took Mr. Bones. Oh. Horrible place. Where is Mr. Bones? Did oh. it have legs? I was hoping he was with us. He is uh, with you. That's my fault. Or was it just flopping around on the ground? No. Like a shark graboid. Like it, it burrowed and popped up? Like it was kind of worm like too? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> We used to go and ask. <laughs> I think, I think the last time we said it was what, like the tremor aliens or the, something. The graboids. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah but it was awful. It was awful. Website. There's Mr. Bones. <laughs> hey, Mr. Bones. There he is. Yeah, I can't good put the new. mouth. Maybe, maybe not quite as good. He's a little. His cape's a little. Uh, chewed up and a bit more tattered than it was perhaps. He's been through a bit. We'll have to get him a new one. Um, yeah, but uh, um, yeah, we got these teeth from some shark thing and we got some flowers that we owe to someone who asked us to get them flowers and shark teeth. <laughs> we just, we just yeah, gotta you, find who that is. You know, the, you know her hut, but it is a little late, so maybe best to go to her in the morning. Unless you mm -hmm. want to go to her now. You can go to her now if you want to. I think she was going to give us, like... What was she gonna do? She was gonna give, make us a potion or something? Yeah, yeah, we were trying to get healing potions because we used them all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you were gonna get, well, yeah. Yeah, you should uh, You should go talk to her, either now or, or the next morning. Actually, uh, weren't you getting like a potion of restoration? Like it was a nice one. Or it was a stick or something, or like twigs or something. No, it was like a like significant a one. Uh, maybe. Good... Do you want to come to the crazy lady's old hut? Sure, I'll meet her. All right. Let's let's head over. See what she's up to. Maybe she's uh, partying night night away. All right, all right. You guys head over to her hut. Um, the uh, there is a cloth over the door. Cloth. Like the door's not open. Oh. Does it have a message? No, no message. All right, I go. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock. Mm -hmm. All right, so you, you sort of knock on the. On the on the uh, the door Edge. frame, as it were. What? Who is it? Hey, lady, we got your flowers, and uh, we killed that shark creature. You what? And the you didn't take curtain, care of my... curtain <laughs> like whips aside, and she pops out. What did you do? You actually did it. Mm. You didn't think we'd do it? <laughs> you said yeah, that's totally it. <laughs> well, I um, uh... and you're still alive. Don't we were coming back? Hmm, look at that. Mm. All right, well, yeah, I guess I owe you some potions. Yeah. But, um, uh, I think our agreement was for three. Do you want two healings and a lesser restoration? Or do you want one healing and two lesser restorations? Or three and one? Two and one? Or three and, three and zero? Mm. Uh, I look at Pelias. What about two healing and one restoration? Well, mm. I, would I say want a restoration, though. I would say the other way. What about two restorations and one healing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. She sort of grabs the basket and the teeth from you. They'll, uh, they'll be ready by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, mm. Don't rush me, funny hair. Funny hair. All right, all right, got me there. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Funny hair, don't care. Mm -hmm. Come back tomorrow. I'll have right. it done. All right, cool. All right, now leave me be. Close the door. All mm -hmm. right, you guys head back to the uh, the sort of the the hut that has been made available to you, uh, and. There's nothing else. Anything else? Uh, I cast Animate Dead on Mr. Bones. Mm -hmm. Good choice. 
I will right. do. Um, I'll do some phone calling, <laughs> sending stone calling to uh, people just to let them know our progress. Hmm. All so right. I'll probably, I'll probably contact um, Elsa. But I don't need to have the conversation. I'll just keep her abreast of everything, and I'll essentially say the same thing to each person. Wimblecat, um, Sir Galdinger, and I can't remember if I checked in with Lily recently, but that would be. Well, you do, yeah. So so you yes, great question. So you would have learned from her, of course, that your father is with them. Right. I would have learned that two weeks ago in Jakun. Or not yes. quite two weeks ago, but yeah, yes. a little while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not quite two weeks. Uh, it is a great question of what that other group is going to do. We could theoretically uh, talk about that now since three of the four of you are here. The main options would be to go up and over the mountains of Elias or to go back down the coast on the ship. Mm, mountains could be cool. <laughs> we do Basically, have a ship though. It would be if you wanted to go... Well, maybe, lose the ship again. maybe this is too much for this. Yeah, anyway, mm -hmm. you check in with these people. You have some conversations, which we may have to have uh, in another session. Um, but let's see, so you said Wimblecat, Galdinger, and Elsa. Yeah. Elsa is uh, excited that you were able to help folks of Swabia. Um, is not quite sure what import that has. Um, in general, um, Galdinger, of course, inquires about Lily, and you say something. Of course, she seems to be doing very well for herself. She's really grown into her role as an adventurer as well as a diplomat, and she's <laughs> making excellent, con excellent connections with. All of the different lands of Centralia. Incredible! What a what a what a proud father I am today. This is excellent news. When will you be returning to Wesleyville? There are some strange going ons here. A lot more uh, interactions between the uh, Duke and the houses of magic than there have been in the past. I admit it's a bit concerning. Have I not told the Duke about Skulldrake? I don't know if you've told Galdinger now. Uh, you, you told Wimblecat. Okay. All right. So, uh, so Sir Galdinger, I don't want you to behave any differently uh, because I don't want you to be in any kind of danger. But just try to stay under the radar. Like, just don't, don't really make yourself, don't put yourself out there too much. Just kind of. Maybe take a step back just a little bit. Go on a vacation. Visit your keep. I think that would be a good idea. Visit your keep in Bellwether or in One Bell. And take your wife and take little Sarah, right? Sarah? Uh, yes. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, Agnes. I trust you and, uh, and your friends. If this is the best course of action, then I shall do so. Um, at least for the time being. Well, right. well, things are still kind of up in the air as to what might be going on with the Duke and why is the Duke mm -hmm. having these conversations with the Houses of Magic. Until we know more about it, it's probably best to stay just a little outside of what's going on. Trust me, it's not something that's going to <clears throat> ruin your career if you're not there. In fact, if anything... You might be ruined if you stick around for, for too long. You folks never seek to uh, cease to uh, intrigue, but <laughs> all right, I shall take your advice, Agnes of Sky. Thank you. 
And say hello to the people in, in uh, Windbell for us. Indeed, I will. Their uh, pyramid continues to grow in notoriety. <laughs> oh, not in size, just in notoriety. Right? No, no, just in, well, from what I've heard, just in notoriety. But uh, I suppose I'll see for myself. Yeah, yeah, take a tour. It's nice. <laughs> All right. All right. The ancient wonders of Centralia. All right, so the next morning dawns. Um, how's the weather? Ooh, pretty good, pretty good. Um, you guys stick around basically just long enough to get your potions, say your farewells to Asnando and the Watermelon Kid, and, uh, and join Nate and Jenkins uh, mm. back on your ship. And start the sail for the capital of Tulu to reunite with Finric. I trust you're, uh... Wait a minute, you don't have the bodies with you anymore. Is that a good thing? It is. We found them. In the uh, in the astral plane, and I sent them home through a teleportation circle. So that is taken care of, and we can we can move on to our next port of call. Which is? I believe we'll be heading north. Is that is that true? Well, first to get Henry, but yes, that's a oh, good question. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so you guys you guys uh, sail uh, and. Pick up Finnick. Is there anything else you want to do in Tulu before you pick up Finnick? Or in Cena while you pick up Finnick? I mean, I got my, I got what I came for. You're going to do a little fishing? We're going to do a little fishing, Finnick? Oh, well, mm -hmm. did we also pick up the, um, I'm assuming we picked up the potions? Yes, you got the potions. We'll say you got the potions, of course. Um, some extra watermelon for the ride. So who should, yeah, you guys should mark those potions down. So you got two lesser restoration. <clears throat> yeah. And then one potion of healing. Good point. We don't want to forget that. Mm. I would at least like uh, one of them. Someone else wants the others. Right. I mean, we did kill a shark over them. Yeah. Well, maybe Mr. Twizzard should have... Mr. Twizzard should have one restoration and one healing potion, and then Polias could have the other restoration. So if one of you goes down, <clears throat> the other could revive. <coughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Ha having a healing potion to bring Polias up is a good call, because otherwise, okay, as your main healer. Are you okay with that, Polias? Uh, so what did John say? Uh, John concurred. I concurred. Oh, yeah, oh, I concur. Why didn't I just concur? Finrick, did you try to say something but we're muted? I'm muted? You looked like you were talking a second ago. Never mind. You're oh, fine. I was talking a second ago, but I, I don't know why it wasn't. Um, I I would love to get the other heads before I have to go with these guys. Oh, of um, course. Of course. With one. And then the other thing is, I don't know if anyone else is having trouble with D&D &D Beyond. But... Yes. Yeah, we are too. Yeah, I think I just got booted out or something. Oh, no. It's, yeah, the Friday, it's the Friday night curse sometimes. <laughs> Somebody broke it. Alright, you go you go back to uh you go back to the dirty beaver mm. to pick up the heads. Ah Finric, good to see you again. Thank you Likewise. for uh Thank you for your patronage. I trust you're happy with the remaining uh, visages. Our fan. The ones I have, I've seen so far are fantastic. So I can't wait to see the remaining ones. Yeah, wait, which ones has she done? I've lost. There, were, there were five, I want to say. The well, king. Uh, the... All guards. Fit, uh, oh, no, Falrith, too, right? Founder. The first cap, capo. Thumper, Thunker, Cruncher, something like that. And she made one with a thing so you could make it talk. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and then, was Falrith was one of them, right? 
Yep. Yeah, did you ask for anything special with him, or was it up to her? It's up to her. It was all up to her. Okay. All right. Let's see. <laughs> I did something special <laughs> with this last one. <laughs> And she puts Falrith's head uh, sort of on her little counter. Um, say that um, you need to give someone a little bit of a fright, you know, as you might want to sometimes, right? Mm. Yeah, and she sort of turns it around a little, and uh, and you, you, you see a little... Uh, uh, it's like a uh, not not a switch necessarily, but like a little indentation. And um, she's like, "Put your put your finger there, and you'll you'll feel a slight prick." But it's perfectly safe, I assure you. <laughs> Do I react to this? What's that? <laughs> Do you react to this? Do it. Do it. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> All right. So you, you you put your finger in. Yeah. You 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 feel a, like a slight pinprick, uh, and you take your finger out, and there's a little drop of blood there. But the uh, the eyes of Falrith start to glow, and uh, like an eerie red color, and then smoke starts to come out of his sort of sneering face. Uh, and it lasts for about a minute or so. Pretty amazing! <laughs> Never seen anything like that before, have ya? Not even close. That's awesome. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> it just needs a little bit of blood energy. Are you familiar with, um, blood magic, Fenric? Uh, no. <laughs> Be careful with this one. All right. Will do. Does it have an aura? Does it have an aura? Yeah. I guess I wouldn't know. I'm asking her. Like, does this have, like... Magical this... aura? Oh, oh, yeah. oh! It would, um... To those with the arcane eyes, it would appear, yes. I'll, I'll treat it appropriately. Uh, uh, point of order. Do I know if an item in the bag of holding would still have an aura, or would it... Like an item with an aura. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I think that... Right, so so the, the reason you guys had to have, like, special bags for, like, the amulets is because their auras are, like, blinding. I think if normal magic items are, are in the bag of holding, you would see the aura for the bag of holding, but not necessarily auras from within. But certainly the bag itself has one. All right. So you now have five heads finely preserved by old Marge. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm trying to remember, <laughs> did I pay her the balance last time? Yeah, you did. Okay, cool. Because I can't <laughs> um, load, my, <laughs> load my account. Um, but, uh, well, thank you so much. It was... Uh, uh, it was really great to work with you. Um, you know, hopefully my friends and I will uh, be able to. Uh, you know, I, I hope we can count on you in the future if we uh, if we if we are able to collect some more specimens. Uh, yeah. I hope so too. I you are a interesting customer, and I hope I never end up on your bad side. Mm -hmm. Oh, never, never. <laughs> Well, I mean, who would be able to preserve her head then? No. <laughs> well, Fenric, old Marge's dirty beaver is open any time you want to come in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it would be the next day. Uh, the um, gosh, what is the name of the ship? I've forgotten the name of the ship. The, um, the, 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 the rapier, the, uh, oh. 
Happy Sailor. The Bounty's Edge. The Bounty's Edge. Yeah, there it is. Good work. <laughs> Uh, is seen entering the harbor, and Finric, uh, you are there to greet it with all your... Are you wearing your new outfit? That's a question. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> all right, you guys You guys see Finric knowing nothing about this. Uh, you recognize him, though. Uh, but yeah, he is looking pretty spiffy, and he's got a big old silver buckle. That's the first thing I noticed. That buckle is almost bigger than his head. It's like Finnick. glinting in the sunlight. It's like, ah. Mm, you can put some shade I down. wonder if that gets really hot. I don't know. Bubble. Silver. It probably still is pretty cool to the touch. All right. Fenric's back on yes. board. Oh, I want to show you, uh, you remember Falrid? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. How can we forget? Put your finger in his mouth. <laughs> You what? Uh, no. No, it's um. in, I think the, I think it's in the it's in it's in the it's it's sort of in the collar, so you can like hold it out to someone and then it's not in his mouth. Oh, you're just saying put his finger I, I see this is regardless never mind. Go on, I am sorry I intruded. Uh Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, okay. How about over here? I don't know if I want to touch it. All right, I'm going to go over and poke it. Mm. Ah, the hell's on that? <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh, it's alive? So poke my finger. <sighs> oh, he's back. Kill him. <laughs> All right. Pretty neat, huh? What's going on here? This is not a normal taxidermist job. <laughs> mm. I mean, like, they're all pretty good, but this might be the best one. Man, I kind of want my head stuffed that way when I go. Start showing the heads around. So, what were you guys up to? Uh, killed a uh, land shark and picked some flowers. Mm. Sent the king and queen back to out of the car. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. I, uh, I got some fishing gear. I'll have to show you some of that later. So that outfit is part of your fishing gear? <laughs> This outfit was, uh, was, uh, uh, I don't know, well intended. You didn't get an, you didn't get an outfit, I guess I was the only one who got an outfit in a jacoon. Hmm. I got the black and copper one. <laughs> yeah, you guys are crewing quite the wardrobes. Well, we've got to, we've got to play the part of the yeah. outfit. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think I only have one outfit. That's for that fancy <laughs> Falrith party. <laughs> and Amazing. Yeah. Uh, how much did it cost for those heads to get stuffed? Five hundred or something. No. Oh! Three hundred. Two hundred. No. Oh! Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think it was like two hundred. One hundred. Uh, all right. We want to split that. We owe you some money. Oh, yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't. Um, we can't really. Yeah, do can't do. Can't Venmo right now. I don't remember how much money I have. <laughs> I mean, fortunately, I do have a paper copy, but it's not up to date. It'll be fine. <laughs> Finner can you know? All right, we're good for it. We'll get lunch. <laughs> Right, so where are we going? Where are you going? That's a great question. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, it you... turns out that Lily is with my father um, up north. I wouldn't mind heading up there and finally going to the um, the great library, but I know that you guys are all about Falrith, but if Falrith's not even like, let's take out the compass and find out where Falrith is. Maybe he's at the library checking out books. Hmm. All right, so you guys take out the compass? Yes. He's got it. Take a look at it. Mr. Twizzard always has I it. I assume I do. So you guys are down here in Cena, and the compass points north, northwest. Mm. So sort of sort of that way. Oh, boy. Right in the middle of the library. No, no, no. That's, that's the that. library is this way. <laughs> See, it's pointing there. I knew it. It's in Wesleyville. In there now. 
Uh, okay. Well, that's on. It's on the way. Wesleyville is on the way. To the library. No, if we have a ship, we're going up through the um through that the, where we just came from. Okay. Why don't we go to Wesleyville first? We'll see if anyone there has books they need to return, and then we'll grab those. And go <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Make some money. This would be like the new thing that the Atam does. So we've uh, been returning here. You don't well, have to. Then I'm just going to suggest that we allow our um our friends Nate and Jenkins here to head back to Windbell, and then we can uh, teleport to Wesleyville because I happen to know the Wesleyville teleportation circle. And we can uh -oh. save so much time. That would be a lot of time saving. That's cool. <laughs> do you need to procure more chalks? I do have, I think, <clears throat> I think I had purchased from people in Tulu yes. an additional two. So Perfect. I think I started with two. I either got an additional one or additional two. So while we're in Tulu, maybe I'll just buy it some more. And hurry up and buy some more. <laughs> I conjure a three foot long piece of chalk. Look what I got. Mm. Just draw a big circle with it. Glowing with the magic lure. Uh, ignore um. that. I'm pretty certain that I had at least three um, like uses and I used one. So we definitely have another two, um, but I should probably um, always have three on hand just in case. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, it's basically you're saying when you when you learn it, you get some or you had you had it. No, so um oh yeah, when when I learned it, I got one, I think, and I purchased another in that place in the desert. Oh, right. Or or I had one and I purchased two in Cena when we first you, stopped. I, yeah, I think you definitely purchased two in Cena. Right. Okay. I so I think that. I had a total of three. I okay. just use one. Okay. So they're they're fifty gold each. So say you right. have two. How many do you want more? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I mean, if we're heading to Wesleyville, I could buy more there. So I would just want to buy one to replace the one I used. Okay. So I'll subtract fifty golds once I have the opportunity to do that. I think I have enough for fifty gold. <laughs> um, and then I will add one um, gem dust chalk. All right. Ooh, baby, baby, now, baby. now, I don't know if we should spend time on the boat just so Nate and Jenkins don't have to go back all by themselves. Like, we could help crew it. And then from Wesley or from Windbell, then we could teleport. I mean, it's it's all about if we want it to take longer so that the other team can catch up or no. Oh, um <laughs> ah, bleh. you you don't need to necessarily take that into account. I think Nate Nate and Jenkins could hire on a crew fairly easily um in Cena if you if you gave them a little extra gold. Um, okay. I, I would just, I would feel bad about them making that trip all by themselves. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to. Yeah, no, they wouldn't. They wouldn't run into trouble. The only time they do that is when we're with them. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but just, just to run a ship of this size, you need more than two people. So, I mean, I'm fine either way. As long as we know that they can get back to Windbell. Because I would feel terrible yeah. if they were just set adrift at sea. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, if you if you give them if you give them say fifty gold, they can get a crew that'll that'll go with them to Windbell. And I guess that crew would stay there. Windbell. I mean, there there are there are there are merchant ships and trading ships, and there's definitely people in Cena who have heard about the pyramid and want to see it and. Uh, you know, if they stay there and work a little and then sell back later on, like they're, it's a, it's a lifestyle choice. These, these tropical folks, they, they're on trading ships all over, you know, crewing ships here and there, living, living the wildlife. <laughs> all right. Well, I don't know how much gold I have left. 
I have right. no idea. But if we each give ten... I'm sure, eight. I'm sure you have enough. Okay. <laughs> oh, I did it. I fixed the gold website. Wow. I clicked it right? times. Hacker man. Let's see. Oh yeah, okay. I was I misplaced my wallet, but now I see. It. Yeah, I, I have gold. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. All right. So one of you. Uh, so Agnes should pay the fifty for the chalk, and someone else should pay the fifty for the crew. All right. Uh, I'll pay for the crew. All right. Oh wait, I broke the website again. Yep, it's broken again. <laughs> well, regardless, um, it'll be a little uh. Less exciting without you on the ship, but uh, probably better for our health. Oh, we'll miss you, Nate and Jenkins. You'll see us again, I'm sure. We'll always, uh, we'll always be on call. I know that when you get back, hopefully, um, Sir Galdinger will be in the area, so you can always, uh, always see about you know getting some work from him and using the boat to. I guess bring him to his keep or whatever. That we will. It'll be, uh, honestly, it'll be good to get back to Windbell. It's, it's been a while. Isn't that right, Jenkins? I, I miss the shores of Windbell. Yes. That's the most I've heard him say in a month. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, where will you folks be going then? And how? We don't know and we don't know. No, we're going to Wesleyville <laughs> and we'll be going via teleportation circle. I see. Well, all right. We wish you all the luck. All right. So, uh, let's see. So that would be... All right. And you are going to which circle? Oh. <laughs> so the one that I know, actually, I don't know if I, I, I definitely had one in Wesleyville. It might, it might work now. Oh, it might work now? Is there one at the Black Bowl? <laughs> Black Bowl, no. There's not a so, teleportation circle at the Black Bowl. Agnes, Agnes definitely knows the one that was in the secret room in, Skull Dr in Sir Skulldrake's um, office. Oh, man. That's where our chest is. Yeah. <laughs> that's where that's where a chest is. <laughs> we still need that. Mine's not working. Um, we are owed whatever's in that. So, let me see if I know a different one, because... When learning the spell, I learned two teleportation circle locations, but I already knew that one because I had seen it. Oh, no, it's still not working for me. It's back and forth. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So I don't know if I would have learned another one in Wesleyville or if I would have learned one somewhere else. Yeah, Maybe it's I so know. weird. It's such a weird thing. Um, I can't. I can't view it right now, unfortunately. But we could definitely do that one. There. Yeah, you could definitely do that one. Um, For some reason, I thought that I might have learned the one that was in the um, in um, House Evath. The one that I'm friendly with, the the Shogren. Right. Yeah. Let me uh, let me bring that up there. Let's see. Let's see here. Must be nice to be able to fail to remove coins. Two powerful wizards. Uh, well, you put 50 and you only have 45 gold, so you have to use your platinum. Oh, I thought it would automatically pull that right amount out. No, just put 5 platinum. Oh, 
that's what the ratio is? Yeah, it's 10 to 1. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Secret is not spend it. I bet. I paid Nathan Jenkins. Okay, awesome. I, I would say that... Give me a... Hold on a second, let me read one more thing. Let me go get my dice then. <laughs> oh yeah, old fashioned. <clears throat> and you learned this in Dessen. Uh, yeah, that's the. <clears throat> that's where the bards were, right? <laughs> yeah. So maybe one of the ones is there, I want to say. Oh, yeah, probably. I probably yeah. learned that one. Makes sense. Um, I mean, I have I have them written down. I just can't access it. Oh, you have them written down. Yeah, I wrote them down. I just wrote... I just wrote um, the one for Adver um, for the palace, oh, um, but I had two reason, others previously. For whatever reason, I can access things through the phone app. So you're saying it's in your inventory? I have it with my spell as customization, and I have it as notes in my customization. Oh, here we go, here we go. All right, teleportation sigils known. Wesleyville, Duke's Hidden Room, South Gorson, Falrus Fort. I had to have known two other ones. Well, uh... Oh, it never, it never saved the one that I just put in for <clears throat> out of a car. All right, so yeah, when you get a chance, so do Odavakar and do Dessen. And Dessen, okay. And specifically, uh, let me give you the specific Dessen one. Specifically in Dessen, it's a man. It's a man. Oh, nope, that stop it. Why did you scroll there? Oh my gosh. Um, it is, where is it? Very exciting. Yeah. Kyab, the city of KYAB, run by the tiefling bard, Venar the Fantastic. So, Dustin... K-Y? K-Y-A-B. A-B. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. And then <clears throat> I already knew Wesleyville's Duke's Hidden one. And I guess when we were in Falrus Fort, I saw one and I learned that one. Yeah. But then... Hmm. Okay. Was there a teleportation circle in the dragon's den? Yes, there was. Yes, there was. Uh, well, it 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 matched or not matched? Yes, no, there was. There was. Hmm. So yeah, would I have could... learned that one by seeing it, <clears throat> or would I not have yeah, been? Let, let's say, let's say, because you are supposed to have two, and I like, I like using ones that you've seen. Like I like that more than just like you automatically know one in Lucknow, right? Like that doesn't make a ton of sense. So, but yeah, I, I'm perfectly fine saying you remember the one in uh, in the Dragon's Lair. 
That's a pretty good one to know. You know. Yeah. Get in, get out. Now, if the teleportation circle is a permanent one, do I have to use chalk or do I just cast the spell? Oh, if you're using it to exit? Like, if I was to go from... Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, you're, you're, it's, it's a, you're it's drawing a, the destination, basically. Okay. All right. So you always have to draw where you're heading to. It's not like you teleport from one um, think, sigil to another. No, you might be able to go from one sigil to another existing one. I, I could look that up if it comes up. Okay. I think that I think that makes sense because why else would well to get home fast? <laughs> yeah, no, right, exactly. That that is why. Good point. Uh, but I think that is possible though. Let's see. Permanent teleportation circles. I don't know. I'll look it up. There okay. might not be a specific rule about that, but... No, that's okay. I was just curious as to, you know, if you can go from one to another without having to draw, mm. but I guess not because you would have to draw where you want to go. Right. Hmm. Yes. So you always have to have it match. But I could believe that. Yeah. 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 We should probably go with that for now. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, are we ready to go? So let's see here. Whoa, we lost our Fenric. Oh, he's back. This was the place that we had that <laughs> meeting in the in the bar when we like first met. Oh yeah. Mm, no, that's Bellwether Glen. Oh. Wesleyville is the big city that. Um... It's got the two towers, the black robes and the red robes. Oh, okay. Lady Norfolk. Lady Lewin. Norfolk Lewin. Do it. Mm. All right. Do you wear black robes or red robes? You guys oh are. Gosh. Yeah. Do you have robes? You bought. You yeah, bought a couple of robes. Do have those? Yeah, I think we have robes. <laughs> I think the robe that. Um... No, I think you only bought one. <laughs> I thought we bought both too. I feel like we did. I don't know. That Balrus robe. Uh, what color is his? His is maroon. His is the burgundy the robes. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Um, yeah, let's see. So. So you guys are doing this from the deck of the ship, I guess? Yeah, probably. All right. We don't take like a piece of the floor with us, do we? Oh boy. No, 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 no. Just no, think no. our ship on Nate Jenkins. Sorry guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, you cast a spell and you hop through. All right, let me well, put that. Well, that was easy. Unscathed? Oh, we're back. Unscathed. Hopefully. 
Yeah. Uh, and you appear, so the as, as you jump, because this is the, is this the first time you guys are using this? Uh, mm -hmm. First time they're using it. I've used a teleportation circle once. That's right. Uh, yeah, you guys sort of feel this feeling of like being sort of pulled, sort of like stretched out. And then you, this blinding flash of arcane light as you feel yourself snap back. Uh, and you all sort of stumble and you're in pitch darkness inside a room. And the 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 darkness uh, seems all that much darker from the flash of arcane light um, that just blinded you a moment ago. Mm, it's dark in here. Uh, where are we? We are inside a secret room in Sir Skull Drake's office in the Parliament building. Ooh, is that chest here? So, in the office of a black dragon. <laughs> so, um, actually, you guys wouldn't know about the chest. Ooh, is there anything in this room? <laughs> um, you stub yeah. your foot against a large, heavy object. Oh, look at this here! <laughs> What'd you find? I cast light on the chest. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so you 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 light up the chest and you you can see you're in a small room, uh, maybe about fifteen feet by ten feet, um, <laughs> and there is a now a glowing chest and you can also see uh, faintly from the light of it the arcane circle that you arrived from. Oh yeah. What's in the chest? I cast mage hand. Open the chest. All right. Um, I would like you to roll, to, I would like you all to roll a dexterity <laughs> check. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Whoa! Oh, any dice? <laughs> Just, <laughs> like, dexterity or dexterity saving throw? I guess it doesn't matter for dexterity me. Dexterity saving throw. Alright. Go plus zero no matter what. Ooh, that's a lucky roll. Nineteen. Anybody know what I get to add? Uh, I'm 16. You should have whatever your plus dexterity is. No, I think I can look it up. Yeah. Oh, oh. Do you think it should come up? Uh, oh, is it coming up now? It should work now. Okay, let me check. Oh, you add zero. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Yeah, I added zero, too. So 19. I got a 12. 12. I'm 16. Nice. Finrick? Couldn't hear you for some reason. Really? Yeah. Is any better? Yeah, no, it is. I, it's weird. It's like the very first thing you said. I don't know. It's weird. Oh. Uh, yeah. So twenty-three. <laughs> twenty-three. All Ooh. right. So, so, so the the chest starts to light. And um, oh gosh, uh, the just the 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 the, te the chest starts to light. Like, it's already lit, right? But it's being lit even more? Sorry, no. It was lit from your spell. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just going to roll this. Uh, oh, I can just roll it here. That's cool. <laughs> um, um, and then this mage hand appears and starts to open the chest. And as it lifts the lid... Uh, you hear this, and Twizzard, and uh, Twizzard hits the dirt. Um, Finneric, you sort of grab Agnes and pull her down with you, and and Polias just sort of like, huh? And like you bring up your shield a little, but this flame just fills the room you're in. Um, and everybody uh, but Polias uh, takes 10 fire damage. Polias, you take 20 fire damage. Oh. Um, <laughs> but the air is now full uh, of this of this choking soot uh, smoke area. Mm. <coughs> Can we open it again? <laughs> is my hand okay? Is Mage Hand all right? Mage Hand's all right. Uh, the chest okay. is now open. Oh! <laughs> well, we had a well, long rest before we did 
in this trip, right? Yes. You, yeah. Basically, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good question. Uh, you should all have. Yeah. Give yourselves all a long rest and then take off that damage. And I guess the mage hand. Although, is that a cantrip? That's yeah, a cantrip, cantrip. But my teleportation would be. Yeah. The teleportation would be used up. Because yeah, you're 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 yeah you're in a you're in a spot. All right, mm. uh, that's what happens. Um, well, I look at everyone else. That's that's probably the worst of it, right? There would be further booby traps in it. I think. Right? Yeah, that's probably it. Well, who's got detect magic? Why don't you look? Well, it's easy. Oh, I do. Stuff. I can detect magic at a level. Oh, I don't know. One, two, three. Let's see. Detect magic. Oh, I have a lesser restoration spell. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna put those potions in my inventory. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Where's the text? Detect my magic. Uh, I guess it's higher up. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got rid of it? Maybe they got rid of it. Let's see. Oh. Oh, there it is. First of all, yeah, detect magic. All right. Uh, so I, I sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of me. Yeah. So your 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 <laughs> fellow adventurers' magic items all light up. Uh, the teleportation circle on the ground also lights up. Um, in the treasure chest. Uh, you see um, you see a dead body of the real Sir Skull Drake. Oh mm -hmm. that would be pretty good. I'm not that smart. Um, and it probably wouldn't be kept there anyway. It's probably been uh, melted away. Anyway, uh, you see uh, 16 silver bars. Platinum mm -hmm. bars, platinum bars, 16 platinum Ooh. bars. Um, and a, uh, a, a, a wooden box uh, that glows with an aura. I cast 16 mage hands. <laughs> yeah. uh, the wooden box glows with an aura of... Do, do, do. Um... I would have to say that it glows with an aura of, of what the heck? Uh, oh. Let's just say transmutation. Mm hmm. <clears throat> so the box is not really a box. The glowing box is not a box. It is something else. It's, it's quite really important. <clears throat> well, I certainly don't mind putting a couple of platinum bars into my pockets. <laughs> yeah, sure you take mm -hmm. How much was it? Sixteen. Yes, I mean they are heavy, but yeah. Well, it's four each, right? Yeah, four each. You can, you can. And you're, just you're... so you know, we can. I'm I'm pretty familiar with this area, and we can just do a uh, well. I could take one person with me, but yeah, I could just. Uh, Move myself out of here by doing dimensional door. I don't know how many people I can take with me. <coughs> I can misty step. Finally, a use for misty step. I think I can misty step too. So I could take Fenric with me if the other two can misty step. Hey, is there? Do we determine, is, is there any way to destroy this uh, teleportation circle here? Like, it seems like that would really, if that's what Skuldrick relies on, that would kind of really mess him up. Can I just add some sigils with my job now? 
It's interesting. You could try. No, it would just be a waste of my chalk. Because I'd have to do that there for a whole year. <clears throat> well, mm, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Could we, like, bomb it? Well, let's see about putting all of the platinum into the bag of holding so it's not heavy. Okay. That sounds good. Agnes, you hear a faint knocking sound. Uh-oh. Um, I place my ear closer to the transmuted box. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be coming from there. <clears throat> or it, it's not making any noise at that moment. <clears throat> can I do a perception check to see if I could get a better idea of the direction? Absolutely. Twenty. Uh, you actually hear it again. It's coming from the other side of what you would know is the fireplace entrance door. That's no good. And someone's mm -hmm. knocking. We gotta get out of here. Can you, any hear of us a, uh, <clears throat> you hear a... Lord? Everything alright in there? Sort of muffled through the door. Uh, so Agnes is going to do her... Special <clears throat> acting ability, throwing her voice, and she's going to sound like Skull Drake, and say, <clears throat> um, "Must be parcel tongue." <laughs> <laughs> well, with my time with um, with uh, what's his name? Ah, uh, Drum. I would have learned one or two things because I had to say them as. A pretend skull drake already so <clears throat> i probably wouldn't say it in uh in draconian though i'd probably that just say yeah <laughs> what was that that might clue in the guards if they're not uh in on it all right um yes yes everything's fine uh I'm give fine. me a deception check <clears throat> Oh yes, deception, deception. Mm, that on delightful. Not Did we finish putting our bars away? Yes. Sweet. <laughs> Nineteen. Ooh. Uh, okay, sir. Um, I. All right. Uh, sorry, sir. We uh we did not know you had returned. I'm not here long. Very good. Uh, <clears throat> sir, sorry, sir. The, the 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 burning smell. Everything's <clears throat> all right, though. Oh yes, yes. All right, very good, sir. I, I sending stone Twizzard and ask him to maybe prestigation the burning spell away. I start waving it, waving my spell all around. <laughs> all right. All right. <coughs> all right. What do you guys want to do? All Look, right. Well, chest is empty, right? <coughs> we, should, we should take that box. Oh, yeah. Definitely take the box. All right. All right. You take the box. Close the lid. Should we put something in it? I'm gonna put the dwarven <laughs> fish finger in it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> that thing's out of my inventory. <laughs> Amazing. The old fish finger surprise. Dragon can enjoy that. Or whoever, whoever's chest this is. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, so, how, so do we get, how do we get out of here? <clears throat> So a dimensional door at level four. Um, I could bring along objects as long as their weight doesn't exceed what you carry. You can also bring one willing creature of your size or smaller. So um, carrying gear up to its capacity. Um, and it must be within three, five feet of me when I cast the spell. So I'm, I'm within five feet of like everyone, right? Oh, yeah. 
So I hold on. If I do dimensional door at a higher level, let me see if I can get more. No, I don't see it at a higher level. I'd only see it at level four. <coughs> can I only cast it at level four? Maybe. Could be. How many levels do you have? Well, I have um, level six, but I do have... I think I have a level seven. No, I only have level seven magic missiles, which is basically all charges. But <clears throat> level six is my highest. And I've only got one of those. But I, I don't seem to have <laughs> a dimensional door and anything more than four. Hmm. So I don't know if that's just because you can only cast it at level four. I, mean, you I can, can teleport. Yeah, you could always cast a level four spell with a level five slot for instance but it might it just might not do anything more right right so like i wouldn't be able to carry an additional person at a higher level i don't think so no okay but since the other two have misty step they should be able to exit this room and i would know that this room is close to the edge of the building um because i've been in here plenty of times yeah, I know you have. Um, we have to see where we're going. Use Misty Step. Is there a window? Yeah, same with me. Not in the secret. It. Not in the secret Definitely room. Definitely no window. Because we have to see where we're going to. The Misty is there, Step. Is there any light coming through, like from the other room? Can we see through cracks? I mean, you could open the you could open the fireplace door. Oh yeah, why don't we just do that? Well, then I almost feel like someone should be dressed up as Skull Drake, and I'm. I think I'm the only one that has that ability. Uh, is he tall? To, to dress up? Well, to, to cast Disguise Self and be Skull Drake, just to make sure that there's nobody else in the room. Or if like there is, to set them Someone here has out. a head of so, disguise. I think I'm going to have to do that just to make sure that these guys can Misty Step. Man, I'm using up all my spell slots, people. Well, doesn't uh, Talia say something useful? Talia says a hat. <laughs> oh, Polias has the hat. Yeah, you can use the hat, but then your voice isn't going to change. Right, my voice because I have the actor feet. I can I could do a voice um, that I've heard before. Oh, okay. So yeah, you want to use the hat then? Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, go for it. Out oh, of sorry. my way! What, uh, sir? What? You guys hear muffled uh, muffled uh -oh. voices outside? Do I recognize the voice? Oh, it's definitely Skaldrake. Run, we gotta go back to the teleport. All right. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> There's a moment you, you hear you hear the fireplace door starting to move. What are you guys doing? I'm dimensioning I'm <laughs> Let's let's cast uh, smoke or something. Who are you, who are you taking with you? Pod? I'm taking Finric with me. Cast your fog, dude. You got fog? All right, I cast fog. Yeah, there you go. All right, you cast fog. <laughs> the room fills with fog uh, as the fireplace door opens, uh, and you see. Uh, <laughs> so Do wait, you does, see the, does the fog? <laughs> hold on, let me look up fog real quick. Does it say it flows around corners? Uh huh. Wait, is this fog or fog cloud? Fog cloud. Okay. Sphere of fog. 20 foot radius, so it completely fills the room. This area is heavily obscured. Oh, um... Dimensional door is not, um... A concentration, but I could make them invisible. Can I do that? I can also mislead. No, but if you I have, make them... You have time to cast one spell. One spell. Each or total? <clears throat> well, each. So you could do Fog Clad and you could do Dimension Door or Invisible. <clears throat> He's going to know someone's in here because he didn't leave Fog in here last <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the door, the fireplace opens and the fog starts to like sink out of the room. The duke swirls it aside, and can, uh, we, 
Can we see past the fog, like past behind them? You can. Uh, um... You want a perception check? I would do a stop, drop, and roll. Try to get out from the bottom. Well, I'll just misty step if I can see behind them. Um, I mean, as the fog <laughs> rolls out, you could probably see behind him. It is right. a verbal spell. Are you guys both misty stepping? It's like basically in into the room. You're, Would it you go can... into the next room? So. So the fireplace here is opening. Okay. Oh, and you'll be able to see. You know, as the fog rolls out, as your eyes become out of the heavily obscured fog, you'll be able to see this area right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we should Misty Step over there. Uh, I'm going to run out. Okay, Twizzard's running out. What are you doing, Flies? I'm going to Misty Step behind them. But you... All right. All right. All right, let's roll into initiative. What do you want me to do? Roll into initiative. What were you going to say, Twizzard? I was going to say, you might not have to. I was going to try and distract them and, and bring them with me. Oh, that's okay. But I think it's too late. All right. We're working it out. All right. What could possibly go wrong? Two. I rolled a two. Uh, I got a five. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. Seriously. <laughs> but Finric has all of the platinum. Don't worry. That is what good. No, you have, you each have four. I, I have the transmuted box. So we're <laughs> we're good. We're out the we're out five hundred yards or five hundred feet. You away. each have four of the platinum, I believe, is what was described. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh I, mean, I thought no no no. I thought I said we should put the platinum in the bag of holding so the, oh, did you? the weight doesn't You did, but then I took four. Yeah, I also took my four. All right, well, mine, mine's in the bag of holding, so. All right, fair enough. I, um, I had another 50 platinum anyway, so I don't think they'll be able to discern one versus the other. Ooh, but so these are bars. Is these that are indifferent? bars, yeah. A bar oh, is that more than just platinum? Yeah, it's 10 platinum. What? That's 50 yes. platinum I have? Yes. Oh, cool. Um, well, I mean, they are in still a bar form. You need to find someone who can... It's like finding oh. change for a five thousand dollar bill, right? It's like oh. you cannot die right now. And then black hole. Um, Twizzard, there's a guard right in front of you. Are you trying to like push past him? What are you trying to do? I was trying to distract everyone and go blah. Look at me. And then I was going to cast mislead. <coughs> All right. Um, because of the fog cloud. What's yeah? What does mislead do? So mislead. You become invisible at the same time that an illusionary, illusory double, illusory double of you appears where you are standing. The double lasts for the duration, which is up to an hour, but the invisibility ends if you attack or cast a spell. You can use your action to move your illusory double up to twice your speed and make a gesture, speak, and behave in whatever way you choose. I can see through its eyes, hear through its ears, etc. Okay, so, so real twizzard, where does invisible. Where does real Twizzard go, and where does the illusory double? Uh, I was gonna have them both run. I was gonna point the double out the door and just have it run, and then I was gonna run because I'm invisible. I was gonna run out the door and try and get out the old-fashioned way. Okay. All right. All right. Let's. Uh, yep. Okay. Okay. I was hoping they'd chase my double. Yep. Yep. Understood. And that Pelias could misty step into safety. Well, I figured if they follow me, then maybe the heat's off of you guys, and you could take your time and see where it's the best place to miss you step. All right, so we're going to say the double. But wait, so you can move the double with your action? So I can control it, but then when I'm controlling it, I can't control myself. I'm, like, deaf and blind. But then I can switch back and forth. <laughs> On each of my turns as a bonus action, I can switch from using my own senses or to... You know, and this this spell is concentration up to an hour up to an hour verbal uh what what is it to cast it yes. somatic somatic and while he's doing that can i can i also cast thaumaturgy hold on i hold on hold on hold on 
It's Hold gonna, on. It's going to have a play with, with his his casting. I understand that. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is rapidly evolving, and you guys are both lower in the... I was going to give Twizzer the benefit of a surprise round. Mm. Um, I guess there's an argument. So, are, do you want to do Thaumaturgy, or do you want to do Misty Step? Uh, yeah, okay, well, I mean, if we've got this plan going, I can Thaumaturgy. I, I can make your thing sound like it's running away, so that, you know, maybe they'll chase it. But it already I mean, makes sounds. it would be running away, and it, uh... But does it make sounds? Uh... Or would it speak? Because I can make it speak. It can speak. Uh, oh. well, let's see. Well, let's see. Hold on. Where did okay, it so maybe you don't need me. I'll yeah, just I can make it just your speak and behave in whatever way I choose. What the, heck is this, what the heck is this thing called again? Mislead. Mislead. Fifth level illusion spell. Wow. I love it. Waiting for a time to use this. Yeah, I'll just Misty Step then. <clears throat> All right, so it is a action to cast it. Mm -hmm. then you can use your action so the first time you the, the, so basically you can make it appear and it's just going to stand there while you're running away invisible and then on your next turn you can make it do something on each of your turns as a bonus action I can switch from using senses to my own or back oh but I guess that doesn't mean I can't I can't command it I could just swap and say I'm in this body now okay. yeah yeah so I think it's like cast it with one action, and then you can okay. use your action to do it. But then he could use his movement to move his own self, right? Right. So, 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 and what is your movement? Well, I wouldn't want to run out first. Right. No, but well, oh, I'm well the where, are you, where, where are you? Where are you making? Where are you making it appear? I won't, so I wanted it. Well, I mean, it appears wherever I am. That's right. Where it's so, slow. so where do you want to be when it when you? I wanted to be inside the fog cloud. Oh, so they, okay. They see it run out. Got That's it. Idea. Okay, so you, so you could make, you could make it in the fog cloud. You're invisible. You could use your movement now. Okay. And unfortunately, I'm regular speed. But my my double can move up to twice my speed. Okay. Now, well, what's your regular speed? Twenty five. I have short legs. Give me a stealth check as you move past this guard. Oh, I am the stealthiest. <gasps> 23! Nice. Stealthiest. All right. Uh, Pelias, Misty mm -hmm. Step, you... Give me a perception check, actually. Perception yeah. check. Persuasion. And you've been perception. in this room before? Has Pelias been in this room before? No. No. Only Agnes and the other team. <clears throat> I got a 19. 18? 19. 19. All right, you need a 15 or higher. You, as the fog is rolling out, you're like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And you see, through the fog, past the guard, you see the door that the guard came in on. So I'm now going to say that you can, you can misty step basically anywhere within this line of sight. Nice. Yeah. Let's misty step as, as far as I can go. All right, so you misty step basically to this pillar. Mm -hmm. You want to hide behind that pillar? Give me a stealth yeah, check do. if you want to do that. Yeah, hide it, hide it. Stealth check it up. All right. <laughs> I got, I got, okay, not great. It's an eight. Okay. Amazing. All right. Uh, the fog clears, the guard swings with his pike at the shape that he sees in the fog. So what is this thing? Is this... It's an illusion. I don't think he's going to hit it. An hologram. All right. Uh, okay. Okay, and then it's the, actually this guy. He's gonna run to here. Uh, then the duke, the duke, sort of shoves the guard around and he says, 
It's an illusion, you fool! Search the palace! Alright, uh, who rolled the four, who rolled the two? Or no, who rolled the five, sorry. Five and two. I rolled the five. And Tim rolled the two. Oh, two. Alright, uh, Pelias, you were behind a pillar. You hear the Duke shout that. What would you like to do? Do I get an action or just like... I, I'll, this, I mean, this, I'll, is, I'll this is a normal turn. We, we're, we're now in turn. You guys, you guys got basically... You guys got a turn ahead of the initiative. Oh, cool. But now we're so in this initiative. Is, this is my turn. The five is, is the high roller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Technically, I guess the guards... Actually... Mm, technically, only the guards would have done their thing. The Duke hasn't spoken yet, actually. So you're by the pillar. You saw you saw the guard that was out here who actually didn't notice you because he rolled a 7 on his perception check. Uh, you saw him enter that door. Um, mm -hmm. And you're behind a pillar. Twizzard's nowhere in sight. What do you want to do? Um... You haven't uh, you, we, technically you haven't heard the Duke shout that yet, but you know that it's not going to be too long before they realize. Yeah, yeah. Can I can I see anything behind me? Can I like see a window or something to the outdoors? Uh, yes. There are upper windows. There's a balcony going around this room, uh, and uh, there are windows in that upper balcony stored. Uh, yeah. Can I can I get to a window in this movement, and then Misty step out? The windows are are are, are a level above you. The windows are a level above me, <clears throat> but I can see the level above me. I mean, you can see out the window. You can see blue sky. Oh, they're ceiling windows. There, there, there. <clears throat> there, there's a there's an upper balcony, or you know, an inside balcony to this room, right? Well, a mezzanine. There's a mezzanine to this room. And the mezzanine has windows. There's just no windows on the first floor. There's a set of double doors here, but they don't have windows in them. Okay. Um, can I can I misty step up to the mezzanine balcony? Sure. The windows. Okay. You, you could me yeah. I mean, what it's it's thirty feet. Yeah, and I'm like a level above, so they're like they'd have to look up to see me. Yeah, thirty feet. Uh, you would have to. Uh, you would have to, if you wanted to, you could move. Basically, these pillars are supporting the mezzanine, right? So you could yeah. you could move out to here and then teleport up to here. Can you yeah. see my finger? No, you can't. But yeah, you could, you could move it. out to here and then teleport up to here. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, all right, give me a stealth check. What does the D mean next to it? Oh, you have a disadvantage? Yeah, you're at disadvantage because you are in full armor. Oh, yeah, I should have rolled that first one twice then. Oops. All right, so my disadvantage is a three. Okay. All right, so you, you go out there, you've got the spell on your lips, you get out, you look above you, and you whew, disappear up to there. All right. Uh, now you hear the Duke shout what he just shouted. It's an illusion, you fools. Search the palace. Um, Twizzard, you are up. You are invisible. Is there a door near me? Um, is there a door near you? There's a double door over here. There's a door in the wall here and a door in the wall over there. Are, the double, are any of the doors open? No. No. Yeah, they open. Uh, actually, there is a guard at this door over. Ah, uh, no, they'll open that door on their turn. They're not. They're oh. not there yet. And is there a way up to the mezzanine? Did you say? There's no visible way up to the mezzanine from the, where you are. How are you supposed to get up there? All right. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna go open the double doors. The the these doors at the front. Yeah. All right. What's your movement? Twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. We'll say you can just get there. Okay. You want to try to open them? No, I'm just gonna knock. You're gonna knock. Yeah. <laughs> From the inside. <laughs> From the inside. All right. All right. That's your turn. Softly, yeah. I softly knock. Yes. You softly knock. Well, like a so that rap not attack. not a big rap, so that the, the <clears throat> dude can hear me, but so that someone standing outside <clears throat> the other door might 
hear me. A tap, a tap, a tap. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I love it. Um, this guard whips around and he's gonna look around. Um. All right. Um. Plyce, describe to me. So you moved out. Just describe to me exactly what you did on your turn. On my turn. Yep. And I stealthily, with the clanging of a of a kitchen sink, came <laughs> out of the my hiding spot of the of the forum column, and I said, "Hey, look up there! I'm gonna teleport up now, guys. Bye bye." Okay. <laughs> and what did you do when you got to the top? When I got to the top, when I just you got to the top. Wind, like I slunk down so that it was harder to see, but I, I'm looking out the window. All right, give me another stealth check. Disadvantage for your slinking down. No, this is this is just straight because you're not moving. This is okay. you. This is you trying to blend in with a window ledge. It's eleven. Okay. They're in the mezzanine. Um. <laughs> um. Plus, it's your turn though. Oh, good. Let's Missy step out here. Can we see out the window? So what feet? do you see out the window? <laughs> what do I see out the window? Uh, what you see out the window is basically a, is the city of Wesleyville. Uh, uh -huh. You're you're just outside. You know the the Duke's estate, which is at the center, right? If you remember, it's there's sort of those like three red large buildings, um, and just outside of it. To the east is where you're looking, and so you'd basically be looking into a city. Okay. <clears throat> so I'd like to um, misty step into like a not so crowded area. I guess. Do I see anything that's like not so crowded right now? It is a street uh, in the middle of the day, and there are people walking around. Is there like an alley somewhere nearby? Not, uh, not within thirty feet, because there's a there's a buffer around the palace of like nice manicured lawn type of thing. Okay, well let's just misty step down. There's no guards that I see right away. No. Okay, so let's just misty step down close to the castle, and just like kind of leisurely have our you know head back and and kind of like lean up against the castle like. Eh? Wait, lean up against the castle or head for the... Or like, so you have 30 feet. You're probably 20 feet in the air. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to go 20 feet down and, and just like hang out next to the castle. Why not use your movement? Oh, and then I'll move. And then, and then I'll move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you can, get, you can get to the street. Oh, okay. You yeah, can let's get, to, get the to the street then. All right. All right, you get to the street. Um... The Duke runs out and looks at the mezzanine as a guard opens this door and another guard. Where's my other guard? And there's silvery smoke every time I do that, by the way. There's silvery smoke? Yeah, every time I miss these up. Interesting. Interesting. Good to know. All right. Uh, silvery mist, it says. Mist. Silvery mist. The Duke <laughs> turns to the guards and he shouts, they're outside. Surround the castle. Or not? Is it a castle, a palace? What is it? Is it an estate? He Parliament. uses the correct word. He uses the final. <laughs> yeah. And he sort of shoves this guard toward the front door. Uh, Twizzard, you're up. I move out of the way because the guard's coming through. Okay. You move out of the way. Uh, it's the guard's turn. Uh, just then, a guard from outside swings this door open as these guards are running toward it. <laughs> no. Oh, this is bad. Um, <laughs> so these guards come out and they start to spread out into the courtyard. Actually, is he smart enough to realize that? Good. So that's no, the way he's out. not. Okay, uh, Pelias, <laughs> you are in the street. Okay, now are there people around me? Oh, yeah. Okay, do I yep. still have the hat or do I give it to Agnes? No, I didn't use it, so you got that hat. <clears throat> All right. Let's put it on and, and look like one of the kids kind of in the street, like, you know, a school kid. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Does the Duke realize now that you wouldn't be out that way? He does. He runs through this door here. Uh, Twizzard, you are now alone in this sort of estate entry hall. <laughs> Oof. All right. Um, are, are the doors open? The front doors are... We probably would have just ran out. <clears throat> well, I hope so. The front doors are open. All right. I'm going out the front. All right. You're still invisible? Yep. Okay. I'm going uh, to there is a there is a guard sort of here, and you see others sort of like hassling people in the courtyard, um, but you sort of <laughs> sneak over to this side, still invisible. Yeah, I'm just gonna wiggle my way out All as right. far as I can go. All right, I think that that's gonna take us out of initiative. Or no. I hope so. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys are back in Wesleyville. That's exciting. <laughs> Did not expect yeah. that, uh, but it makes sense. And uh, yeah, I think that's where we're going to break for tonight. Just real quick, I think I'm still invisible for up to an hour. I think that means my um, counterpart, my illusion, is, just standing is there. still in that room for up to <laughs> an hour. <laughs> well, why don't you have him move around and look through his eyes and do a little exploring? Yeah. We could do it next time, I guess, but just uh, uh, yeah, no, you could definitely do that. He's still there <laughs> because he wouldn't be able to interact with stuff. No, but they'd have enough time to get a sketch artist and get a wanted poster up for me. Oh, it looks like you. Looks just yeah, it's it's me. It looks, it looks <laughs> just like him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do they really need a sketch artist? Well, I guess. <laughs> I mean, we'll just shave the mohawk and uh... turn, around, <laughs> turn around, face the wall. <laughs> They're probably like, oh, this is some some crazy illusion. Nobody's ever going to really look like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A clever disguise. Oh, my God. <laughs> Amazing. I didn't plain sight. All right. Back in Wesleyville. That's exciting. It's good to be back. All right. I thought we could, like, use that teleport circle. I don't know why I thought that. I I, th I didn't think it'd be a problem. I'd be like, oh yeah, oh here we are. We did use it. We used it to get there. Yeah, but I thought it'd be like okay. <laughs> so it's not a two-way street. Like you can't use it to go back. No, no, you can't. And it's in the middle of it's in the middle of the Duke's secret room in this Duke's estate. <laughs> who's really a dragon? <laughs> nice. So while Agnes is in Wesleyville, she's going to learn the um, house uh, Eva. Well, where's the real Duke? The real Duke should be somewhere there. All right. Mm, gotta find him. Wimblecat would probably know. I think he's in hiding. Mm. I know where I'd go in hiding. Fog Glad? Mm. <laughs> That's R Rusty spot Pelican. Immediate <laughs> spot number one. No, the Black Bull. Oh, uh, the Black bowl. bowl, of course. All right. Awesome. Uh, thank you all for playing. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next time on BD Live. <laughs>